And then in 1998, you showed up on Cool G Rap's album, Roots of Evil, which was uh, his second solo album, I think, right? Nah, it wasn't his second not, solo album. Nah, definitely not his second. The solo album. Because remember, it was Cool G Rap and DJ Polo, and then Cool G Rap. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Roots of Evil. You might be right. You might be yeah. right about that. Right, I think four or five, six was the first solo album. Mm-hmm. Okay, you saying without yeah. without DJ Polo? Okay, gotcha. without without Polo, exactly. Okay, gotcha. so how did you and G Rap actually hook up? Me and G Rap hooked up through a friend of mine, my brother Jay Swift. He actually um took me over to meet G Rap. He was like, "Yo, I know G Rap. Me, I was always a fan of G Rap. You know, what I mean, amazing lyricist. I I could recite his rhymes word for word. So." My brother Jay Swift, he's a producer, you know, shout out to him. He actually produced a lot of tracks on my um my monthly series that I got going on right now. He was like, yeah, I know G Rap. I can introduce you to him. I was like, Word? He's like, yeah. So he took me to the studio and I spit for G and he he loved it, man. You know what I mean? And we started rocking. We developed a relationship. He's like a big brother to me. He um he put me on his album. He said, Yo, I got this song I'm gonna put you on called Roots of Evil. He put me on the album, man. I, I spit as hard as I can. I wrote the the most amazing verse to me that I could think of, you know what I'm saying? And he put me on the album. Word. Yeah, I mean, we all love G-Rap. Yeah, definitely. You know? G's a, a, a legend. I could sit here and go on out. G-Rap is in my top five. You know what I, I'm saying? I could, <laughs> I, could definitely see, I could definitely see an argument for that. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, yeah. To top the five. L- lyrically, nobody could tell me no different. Like, who who's better? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean that's where Nas I feel got his style from. I feel a lot of people got their style from G. A Ooh. lot of us, let me say, um, borrowed a lot of things from G. Rap us as lyricists, just the the level of metaphors that he was putting out. You know, you you haven't heard nothing like that before. You heard G. Well, you showed up on the you know on the G. Rap project, but then it was six years. Later, 2004, when you came out with your first uh, single, Thug Connection and, and Alphabetical Slaughter, was there a, a Rikers Island stint somewhere between um, there? So I showed up on G, on G album. What year was that, you said? G Rap's album was 98. That was then, 98. You know, Alphabetical okay. Slaughter was 2004. So six years. No, no. Actually, actually, if you Google it, you'll see that Alphabetical Slaughter initially came out Right after the G rap, not too long after the G rap feature. Okay. Um, it was it was alphabetical slaughter A side. No, I'm sorry, it was alphabetical slaughter B side, A side, Thug Connection, Papoose featuring A Z and Cool G Rap. Aha. Uh-huh. I'm not sure what year that was. That's probably about nine nine two thousand. I could be mistaken. Don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? They both okay. got on my record. I put alphabetical slaughter out. Then 04. When I met K Slay, I re-released it. Aha. Uh-huh. Right then okay. and there. I actually wrote Alphabetical Slaughter when I was a kid, man. I wrote that in when I was a kid. Um, I only had it from like A to C. And if I would get into a battle and the cat wouldn't tap out, I would do Alphabetical Slaughter and the battle was over. You know what I'm saying? Word. Okay. Was there a jail stint somewhere during that time? Um Right around the time I met, it wasn't a jail stint, but what happened was right around the time I met K Slay, right before I met Slay, I had got arrested because I was hustling, you know what I mean? Running around hustling, to make a long story short. And I ended up getting arrested. And when I got arrested, they put me on Riker Island. Not long. I was only there for like two weeks or something like that. Um, And before I went there, I had heard K Slay on the radio. And he was very interesting to me because at that time, if you wasn't coming through Rockefeller, Murder, Inc., or Rough Rider, you wasn't getting in the industry. Like, they had it locked like that. So it was very rare that you heard new artists on the radio. So when I listened to Slate, I noticed that he was playing new artists on the radio. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was always a student of hip-hop, so I knew that that shit was, like, it, was, it wasn't happening. And I was like, I got to meet this dude. So when I got arrested and they sent me to the island for that little two weeks or whatever, I said, yo, I was just looking at how, how they was living in there. I said, yo, you gotta ask for permission to, you gotta ask for um permission. You gotta wait until they tell you to wash your ass. You gotta wait until they allow you to use the phone. I said, yo, the only thing beneath this, you know, you're not in society. The only thing beneath this is death. 
So if yeah. this is if this is my future, this is not what I want for myself. So I said, yo, when I get out of here, I'm gonna take this music serious and I'm gonna go try to meet that dude who I heard playing new artists on the radio. And um, that's what I did when I got out. 